What's up everybody and welcome back to part 2 of my Brothers in Arms Hell's Highway uh, review. So, oh yeah, by the way, you can now have three fire teams, which is uh, kind of cool. I've got a whole giant fucking squad with me. Um, so anyway, this is the last chapter of the, uh, of the game. Um, I'd like to point out that this game is four hours shorter than the previous two. The um, Road Hill 30 and Earned in Blood both took... Oh, well, they took me at least 12 hours to beat. This game takes eight. So, I don't really know what the fuck's going on with that. Like, where the hell you just lost four hours from. And I'm pretty sure if you skipped every cutscene, you could probably cut that um, eight hours down to about seven or maybe even six. And I don't think it's because the game is, like, actually shorter in length. I just think it's so goddamn easy that you just breeze through levels. Even, like I said, on Veteran, you know, you breeze through levels so fucking fast that it's just not even challenging. So this is the last level of the game. Um, I'm probably not going to include the last cutscene. I doubt I'm even going to make it that, that, like, right to the end, but not in one video anyway. But I just wanted to... Talk about the ending and kind of show you what the end is. Okay, we need to move. Not that it fucking matters if your guys get hit because they get straight back up anyway. Um, so yeah, as I, I try not to cover the same things again. Um, if you haven't seen the first part, you should go and watch that so that you know what the fuck is going on with this goddamn game. Oh, there's an MG over there. Um... So yeah, it's it's way 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 shorter than the than the previous uh, games, which sucks because you know if I <laughs> you, you had no problem making the last ones fucking twelve hours, why can't you make the same shit with this? But obviously, I don't know. Just cut everything back. So one of the other things at the very end of the. Um, of this level like the very very end of the last level is a tank section you don't control the tank in this game like you did in the previous ones in the previous games the tank was like a squad member or part of the squad so you told it where to drive who to shoot at and you know all the rest of it in this game you just drive the tank you play as the tank driver you just drive around in the tank and uh, blow the fuck out of everything I find this incredibly easy. Well, it is incredibly easy. You're a fucking tank, for God's sake. Um, you can get killed as it, because, you know, enemies all have Panzerfaust and fucking uh, AT guns and shit like that. But, you know, it's really, really fucking easy. And I just think it's stupid. Like, it was much better when the tank was a squad member and you could tell it what to do. It made more sense to do that. It's not like... Oh, suddenly Baker can fucking drive a tank now, or any, or something like that. It's, you know. And that, again, is something I feel like they've kind of streamlined on, to be honest. Instead of it being, you know, the ta Is my gun, like, damaged? It looks like it's damaged to the side. Instead of it being, you know, a part of the squad member and part of the uh, squad control, they, they were just like, fuck it, just make them drive the tank. It's a lot easier, you know. So yeah, that sucks. But um, the other problem with the ending, I didn't even know it was the ending. Like, I had no clue that it was the last level at all. I was just driving along in the tank and it was like, clear the town, you know, because the fucking objectives rarely ever change in this game. It's always just clear out the Germans, clear the town, blow up the AT gun. You know, uh, the a 88 gun. Not oh, fucking, yeah. Um... I didn't even know it was the ending. I was just driving along and it, it like cut to black and was like authentic mode unlocked. You beat the game. And then there's about a fucking 10 minute cutscene at the end to kind of wrap shit up. Which uh, sequel baits by the way for the next game. Which has been cancelled. Believe it or not. I looked it up. I was like okay so there's clearly going to be another game. Like they, they mentioned it in the, in the fucking end cutscene. Um, because Leggett comes out of nowhere, the ghost of Leggett, 
there's a lot of that in this game as well. I didn't really cover it in the uh, in the first part. Baker seems to be losing his fucking marbles uh, in this in this game, and keeps having flashbacks and shit about Leggett and seeing Leggett everywhere. And you know, it's like he's gay for Leggett in this uh, in this game, which is fine. You know, I mean, it, he's been through a lot. You got to admit, fucking two whole games, he's gonna start getting a little bit crazy. Um, but yeah, basically in the end cutscene, I won't show it because it's, you know, it will spoil it for anyone. Leggett comes up and he says, can you handle snow? And Baker says, I can handle snow. So that means they're going to Bastone. Like, that's where the snow is. You know, the fucking airborne ended up in Bastone. That's where the next game's going to be. But they fucking cancelled it. It was going to be called Brothers in Arms of Furious 4, which I think is a shit name, by the way. It should been called something else and it's been cancelled so yeah that fucking sucks a sequel bait at the end of the game and there isn't going to be another game unless I don't know Ubisoft pulls their dick out there or stops making fucking bullshit Assassin's Creed and you know actually make something that's worthy of being made however if they do make a new Brothers in Arms game and it's like this it's going to suck anyway so you know if you're going to do it do it right okay what the hell is shooting at me I think there's an 88 gun down there. That's bad. Um, oh yeah. Uh, if you want an example of how easy this game is, you can take as many hits as you want from that AA gun and it 88, and it's not gonna fucking. I swear I call that a different name every single time. It's a fucking 88. Um, yeah, you can just get hit by it all the time, and you know, rechargeable health, bitch. Can't kill me. Um, in the previous games, one hit from it would have blown you to shreds. So, okay, because you know you're not going to be able to blow this wall down or anything. Grenade. So I didn't know it was the yay cinematic kill. Oh my god, you got ripped to shreds. I'm glad that the gore um, theme is is still in this game. I'll tell you something that's not though, and it's art I didn't mention in the last game. Nobody swears. And I know oh shit, hang on, I have to blow this up. I don't want the guys like fucking next to me when I do it. Um Yeah, nobody fucking swears. Oh whoops. That was bad. No, I wanna pick up my Thompson again. I don't want this. Whoops, is it still there? Yeah, okay. <laughs> the satchel charge didn't break my Thompson. Pick it up. There we go. Um, yeah, there is not much swearing in this game. In fact, there's very little. I think I actually counted five uh, swear words throughout the entire game, and they were all in cutscenes. So, okay, why did, you know, I mean, in the previous two games, they were verbal as fuck. Every five minutes, it was fuck this, fuck that, fuck me, fuck you. And now in this game, it's like, oh, you know, it's... Occasionally someone says shit, and it's like, oh, I swore. But, yeah, I, d I don't know why they, they left out all the verbal, you know. I Was it to get a PG-16 or so, a 16 rating for the game instead of an 18? I don't know why, but I hope it was worth it, you know. I mean, it's not that big of a deal, it's just saying that I... I suddenly realised halfway through, I was like, I can't really hear many people screaming or swearing. Which sucks, because, you know, not only can my guys not die, but they don't even acknowledge pain, it would seem. You know, I want to hear motherfuckers screaming for their mums and crying and pissing their pants. This is a war, for God's sake, not a bloody walk in the park. Although this game's a walk in the fucking park, but, you know. Um... But yeah, it, it really surprised me. I was like, they, they left out all the swearing. <laughs> but and it, that doesn't really matter so much. It's just a pet peeve, I guess. I fucking hate saying that, but anyway. Um, so besides this being the ending to the game, I feel as though it's it's very rushed, the, the ending. Um, there's, the, there's no more difficulty to this... Like, that's the reason I didn't know it was the ending. It was because it was like there was nothing new. You know, it, it's just the same thing.
basically, as, as all the other previous levels. And the only real difficulty they've been able to add in this game is just adding loads of enemies. Like, rather than clever positioning or difficult to take out MGs and, and wow, that grenade failed, and shit like that, rather than that, it's just kind of like, oh, there's loads of guys everywhere, and that's where the difficulty comes from because you have more shit to shoot at now. Not because there's, you know, anything subtle and clever being done. It's just, oh, loads of people, you know, and it sucks. I have some fucking creativity. I mean, and even, that, like, that's the only difficulty they can come up with. I've just breezed through, like, half a battalion. So, two MGs, an 88, and about a hundred fucking infantor, infantry just wrecked. So, you know, your attempt at creating difficulty has failed anyway. You know? It's not like I'm some fucking god at this game, it's just, it's fucking easy. And that's why I feel like, oh yeah, there's collectibles as well that mean nothing. Um, that's like one of the main things, problems with this game, is that it it's probably the same length, like level and chapter wise, as the, uh, as the previous games. But it's just so much easier. And you just breeze through everything that's not even a fucking challenge. And to, in order to create a challenge, the first thing to do would be to add the health bar back in. That would immediately increase the difficulty of this. You know, but unfortunately, the, no such thing exists. And it's a shame. It really is a fucking shame. Um, but anyway. So the ending in the previous games, like, you knew it was the ending. Especially in Road Till 30, because it was like... That, that's where you had been fighting up to the entire game. That's where the game started and you were fighting back to that point. So you knew full well, you know, when it was the end. But this game, it's just like any other level, which which really does suck. I want to clear this so I can get to the tank section because it's not actually that far away now. And I can show you how uh, easy the tanks section is. Um... One of the other things as well, the enemy tanks are pretty fucking inept in in this game. In the oh shit, I just got killed. That's a rarity. Um, in the games before, like tanks were hard as shit. Like the Tiger tanks and the Panzers, when they used to show up, it was like oh shit, you know. Now I've got to fight a tank. Here it's just like, oh, yeah, there's going to be a dude with a, a fucking bazooka. In fact, there's probably going to be a stash of bazookas. And I'm just going to wreck shop with a bazooka. You know. But, um... Oh, yeah, you can't do the thing where you throw the grenade in the top anymore. I'd, I think they took that out in... Um... Earned in Blood as well. Which sucked, because that was quite realistic. Where you used to get up behind the tank open the fucking hatch and throw a grenade in and blow it up. And that was like a hard thing to do. You couldn't just waltz up behind the tank and fucking do that. You had to like sneak up behind it or or catch it when it wasn't fucking looking at you. Or distract it with something. Because I can remember spending literally hours in Road Hill 30 trying to destroy a tank. By like, you know, trying to get behind it or find a Panzer Shrek or, you know, something to try and wreck it with. But... Jesus Christ, you know, it was hard. And in this game, they don't even have a machine gun on the front. Like, they just have the cannon on the top. So you can dance around in front of it without getting hit because it doesn't fire at the ground in front of it. And as there's no machine gun to, like, destroy you with, it just fucking is easy. See, like, this should be hard as shit, okay? There's, there's two MGs on both flanks. There's another 88 over there, although it's not firing at us. There's one there, there's infantry everywhere. If you put this in the first game, it'd be like almost impassable. I'd probably be on my own now because the rest of the squad would be dead. But, you know, it's just streamline, make it easy, you know, finish the game fast. I'm probably going to get killed doing this. Uh, oh, no, I made it. Nobody had the sense to uh, return fire or shoot at me. Don't mind me, guys. Just fucking hiding two feet in front of you. Oh, God. I got killed again. Jesus Christ. I need to stop trying to rush the uh, 
88 and actually take my time. I don't think I'm going to get to driving the tank, which sucks, because it's like literally over that hill. <laughs> so, but never mind. Maybe I'll show it another time. But anyway, I feel like I've covered most of what I need to talk about. It's just I want to kind of just play the end level now. Um, oh, that hurt. <laughs> Can I get a grenade over there? No, I can't really. Oh. Okay. Get gun down. <coughs> so as far as games go, this isn't a bad game. It's just a really bad Brothers in Arms game. And it, it's a shame, really, because it could have been something better. If they just changed, like, some mi like minor fucking things, you know, would have made it fine. But you just can't fucking have it. I tell you what, <coughs> in a separate video, it won't be in this video, or probably this year, but um, I'm going to do a video about the n the next Brothers in Arms game, because I n like they probably will never ever make it, which is a shame, because, you know, if they released a, a new fucking Brothers in Arms now, and did it properly like the old games, it would sell fucking boatloads. Like, I mean... That we have like World War Two games out the arse now, but to actually make a good one that's single player only as well. I mean, I know this game has a fucking net play thing, but and nobody on it, so <laughs> you know it's pretty much single player only. But to fucking to make a new one and have it be you know a single player one that's good would just be fucking amazing. I mean, look at Enemy Front. You know, that's a top tier fucking game. And it, it's absolutely terrible. You know, even as a World War II game, it's it just makes no sense. It's ridiculous. I've, I've talked enough about that fucking game. Um, okay. We need to hustle up here. I'm like so fucking close to that tank, it's unreal, but I ain't gonna get to it, so... I'll just clear out this last area, and then we will be done. The tank sections are fun, by the way, but there is no challenge to it whatsoever. Because you, you do have a machine gun on that one. You can just fucking machine gun enemies, blow up their cover, blow up any anti-tank stuff they have, and it's just like a doddle. But whereas before, when you actually had to like tell the tank where to go, it was hard. Because if you made a mistake, or like sent it in first, you know, the enemy would just destroy it with a, a Panzerfaust. But uh, that's a bazooka, by the way, if you don't know what a Panzerfaust is. But I should hope if you're watching a video of Brothers in Arms, you have some fucking clue. Oh no! Casualty Connor! I don't give two shits, he's going to get back up again in about five seconds. Unless I get killed, that is. Who, who got hit? Who the fuck got hit? Oh no, the MG team. They're in red, that means there's like one of them left. Even though I have another two fire teams. You know... Big fucking deal. I'm going to sneeze. <coughs> oh, that was a long time cooking. Stand up. Thank you. Right, going to get behind you guys and just wreck your shit. Okay, hide. There we go. I keep fucking... Where's the injured fire... Oh my god, they're all dead. The whole fire team's down. But look, I, I bet you in any second, like, I'll clear this objective and they will all be back. See? Oh, done it. You just fucking wait. Okie dokie. Can I skip this one? No, I can't. Yeah, this is the end mission apparently. Oh, see, look, they're all back. MG team's back. Hey, you guys got mowed down fucking five minutes ago, but now you're back because I hit fucking checkpoint. So, yeah. Pretty much as a final verdict for this game, it's a 6 out of 10 as a game. As a Brothers in Arms game, it's a free. It's just too short, too easy, too streamlined, and just fucking not worthy of the same title. You know, play the two previous games, buy this one when it's on sale just for the story and the uh, 
you know, to set up for the for the next one. But my god, if they ever make another one, it's got to be like the previous two, not like this game at all. I do not want another fucking piss poor designed game. I mean, it's a fu it's an okay game, but when you see what the previous were like, you know, it just fucking fails in comparison. But anyway, Cheers for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this two-part review. Uh, I couldn't get it all into one video because it was just been way too long. But cheers for watching. Don't forget to share it and uh, go watch some of my other stuff. I'm going to uninstall this game now and never ever play it again. Cheers for watching. Okay, thanks. Bye.